Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com and today it's kind of a, a new type of video. So we have a, a friend of the channel, Joey, who he's a Patreon and you know, he's also hit that super thanks a few times. He's been really great supporter of the channel and friend of the channel. Thank you, Joey. Two thumbs up to Joey. And um, he sent me a package. So my sister-in-law was in town. Well, my sister-in-law and her husband were in town and uh, keeping us busy, having fun. And so I haven't been putting out a lot of videos in the last week. But I got this when they're in town, and I've been dying to open it up to see what's inside. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'm going to open it up and show you what Joey sent me. Now, there's been a couple other people who have uh, sent me things in the past. Uh, Joey sent me something else. I'll sh well, here. i got to find it. Okay. He, f he sent me this how to, how to use your multimeter tester. Okay. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make a video for like beginners multimeters. I've been meaning to do that video. I've actually shot uh, scenes for that video multiple times over the last few years, and I just never finished it. <laughs> so so now that I have this book, I think I'm gonna uh, be able to use this book as to do that video. So thank you, Joey. Um, I've got something else. Another uh, viewer another friend of the channel who's helped me a lot with video editing and so on and I'm going to show you what he sent me and I think you're going to be excited about that as well but today let's see what Joey sent so yeah there's been a you know several people and I'm going to do a better job at showing what these guys have sent I tried to do some box opening videos at one point and maybe I should start doing that again let me know in the comments if you guys like those kind of videos but I thought for sure I want to open up this trying to see how to open up the box the box is a soldering station is what it looks like right so but I don't know you know I don't know if you just reused the box so that might be too obvious so let's open it up and see what's inside here trying to figure out how to open it without tearing it to you guys are like just open it it's like christmas when somebody you know you hand somebody a present you're like just rip the sucker open and they're folding you know they're saving the the wrapping paper and all that kind of stuff it's like oh man okay yeah i don't know which way the proper i don't know if i need to save the box i'm afraid to cut something all right Okay, so let's see. What is that? Well, actually, it is a soldering station. Holy cow. Oh, you know. Now, okay, I get it now. <clears throat> he was kind of making fun of me one time when he was watching me solder. So, <laughs> thanks, Joey. Uh, it's a Sugon. You know, I've looked this up before on Amazon. I'll put the link below if you guys want one. I'm going to review this thing. Uh... The, it's a Sugon T21. Okay. Wow. All right. So there's the, the base station. And then, holy cow. A couple of rows of solder, I think. Oh, a row of solder, row of solder wick. What do you think I need solder wick for? <laughs> you think I'm going to make mistakes? Oh, for unsoldering. That's right. Rework. Gotcha. Uh, wow, some needle nose tweezers. Oh, those look like nice ones. Oh, they're made by Hackle, which another soldering station uh, company. So what else is in here? Holy smokes. Okay, it looks like several tubes of flux is what I think these things are. Yeah, that looks like flux. Is it just different types of flux? Curing, oh, solder mask ink. Wow. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. Another tube of the flux, I think. Plunger. 
Oh wow, okay, here we go. Okay, so some soldering tips. Oh, that's nice. Oh, these are nice tips. Okay. It looks like an assortment of tips. That is cool. You know what? I'm going to uh, show you a close up with the camera, okay? Wow. Okay. That's nice. I was just looking at the different tips. There's four different tips in there. Jeez, Joey. You sent me a, it's a, I think this is a cleaning tool. I think. Okay. I'll show you this in a close up. You guys tell me what it is. Um, now this is, that's a nice tool. You're always needing, you know, when you're trying to separate, sometimes I've had multimeters I've needed to separate, but when you need to get a little wedge in there to slice that open, boy, that's a handy tool. So, yeah. And here's another set of tweezers. Wow. Okay. It says ESD safe. That's kind of interesting. Um, all right. I think this goes with the soldering station because I think. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's a soldering iron. And then what's nice about these kind of soldering irons is just pluck them in there. Okay. So you guys, you know the big fat tips, I mean the shafts, where you have the ceramic heating element inside and you unscrew it and you pull it off and then there's a like aluminum shaft. You know, I, I've got some examples. I'm going to do a review of this and I'll, I'll talk about that. But anyway, that type of heating element has to heat up and then heat through the air into the metal. Uh, this type, it's all, I mean the element, it's all fixed into the metal so it's its almost instant heating. That is not, it, again, I'll, I, I'm going to do a review of this. This is just kind of a box opening I guess today because I did not expect this. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to have to um, check it out. Oh my heck. He even gave me... So, how often do you need one of these guys with the curve, right? You have to get in there and get something. Man. Oh wow, this is like Knipix. Thanks, Joy. Man, I love the Knipix tools, the K-N-I-P-E-X tools. You guys saw me review some of those, right? I just... Let me see. Oh shoot. Thought I had one here handy. Um, anyway, this is like a really nice German brand. So, just precision. Wow. Yeah. That, those, you know, these, I have a, a pair that's smaller than this, and they're often not strong enough for me to grip. So, but having a big pair like this where I can really grip, when I'm trying to reach in and grab some sometimes flat nuts, I'm trying to get the edge to loosen them up. Those are going to come in handy. Oh man. Holy cow. Some nice dikes. Now, what do you guys call these? I, I've always called them dikes, but some people call them, uh, what do they call them? Flat edge cutters or something like that. Uh, but anyway. I know the names of things have changed over the years for some reason. What wire is this? Wow. I'm not even sure what this is. I'm not sure. It... I'm going to show, I'm going to bring the camera and show you guys some close up. Let me know in the comments if uh, you know what these things are. I'm going to look them up and then when I know what I'm looking at then I'll do a review I just looking because there's a few little small pieces in here I was making sure I've got everything out of that box okay um, all right cool man that is way cool I'm not sure this little thing is I think this there's a little knob over here all right I'm gonna have to look at the manual for this thing too because yeah, I'm not really sure. This looks like it 
fits onto this. And it's got a hole in it. Uh, this little guy here holds the uh, tips in the back. It's kind of a, it's made out of silicone. Oh, this whole thing is, wow. Oh, that's nice. So it's nice and soft and rubbery. So you can put your tips in. Wow, that's, woo, that is sharp. Those are sharp. That is super cool. Now, this guy here has the little wire bristle up here instead of the sponge. I think, I wonder if a sponge sits back in here. So, man, those are new. They haven't even been taken out. Those are, oh, I see. The other tweezers he gave me are the ones with the little flat edge. Here, let me get the camera out here. All right, I'm gonna show you a close up of all this stuff and thank you, Joey. That is super awesome. Power switch up front, temperature controls, three channels, a set. All right, guys, so here are the Knipics. That's the name right there. And these are super nice, super precision. There's some little cutters there, but those will come in really handy. You see the teeth in there? So yeah, that'll be awesome. And then here's your little uh, flat cutters or what I call dikes. Is that what we call them anymore? Let me know, comments. And then there's this tool, nice flat, thin edge so you can get into things to prime open. And here's another one. So that's really gonna be nice. And this guy, not sure. It almost looks like a pipe cleaner, right? So. I'm wondering if it's to clean something on soldering station. So here's a new pair of tweezers, the flat edge ones. Those are really nice pulling out slivers too, right? <laughs> um, but, and then look at these really sharp guys. Man, they are super sharp. So you want to keep these little protectors on there so they protect you, not the tool. <laughs> I mean, these things here, even though they're flat, they are sharp on the end. So that's so you can you know precisely pick up things and then we have these little guys here these are the little i think what you do is you put them on you when you take the orange tip off of this this is a flux tube looks like to me so you got two of those and two of these and then here's a little plunger and this little plunger i'm guessing would go with this which this is a masking it's a uv curing solder mask so that's pretty cool and over here we have some 6337 solder a whole spool of it so man it's 23 gauge so it's a small gauge so it's nice because you can uh you know with the smaller components today you can get just the right amount of solder and then look at this big thing of wick that's like 50 feet of wick that'll last me for a long time and then this, this is one, it's hard to identify. I think it might be, it looks like there's wire in there. It's a really small gauge, like 28, 30 gauge or something. But I think this is for, uh, you know, when you're modifying a board, repairing it or something. Uh, sometimes we call it white wire, where you just solder on some wire to repair a trace or to put a trace where one should be. So I think that's what that is. So that'd be really handy. Often I have the wire that's just too big. And then the uh, soldering station. So that's what it looks like up front. It says Sugon. And the pencil, very nice pencil. And this tip right here will probably be my go-to, I'm thinking. And little buttons there for up and down temperature, I suppose. And then we have these tips. Okay, so this tip right here, it is just kind of an angled uh, point. So if you need to get into somewhere tight is what I think that one's for. And then here's this wedge tip. That wedge tip, you know, sometimes you have a larger component, you have to heat up the side of it. So you don't use it a lot, but it's it comes in handy once in a while. And another kind of large, <clears throat> another kind of large tip for getting uh, large, you know, components out. So yeah, these. That's why 
this one looks so new because you don't use those a lot. But there we go, guys. Uh, now, this guy, the station, it's really nice because you can put your tip down in here to scrape off stuff sometimes when you get, you know, things where you just need to get a good scraping. And then you got this bristle, which I haven't seen this one before. And I suppose it comes out of there. Yeah, so that's what that looks like. That should last a long time. You know, those other ones that I've had are the ones where it's kind of all curly and it's like, you know, like a sponge that's been kind of shoved into a little container. And then this is where all the debris goes in here. So this thing's adjustable, the angle. So this thing right here is the thing I don't know. I have to look up, I have to look at the website to see how this is used. I don't know if solder goes in that. Like, yeah, I don't know how you feed it through there unless you feed it. Yeah, I don't know what that is, guys. Let me know in the comments if you know what that thing is. But it looks like because of the teeth on there, it looks like it matches up here. So I'm supposing this gets mounted there. Just not sure what it's used for. Well, hey, thanks, Joey. All right, hey, thanks, Joey, for this awesome gift. That is amazing. I'll put it to good use and really appreciate it. Uh, hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Two thumbs up to my patrons as well. And to the members of the channel, I think I got three or four now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the button's down below for to become a member. Also, there's that super thanks button. And, yeah, this is just a quick video. Just to, I just wanted to give credit to... I. I saw the name on the front of the box. I'm like, oh, man, I know that name. I've seen it so many comments on that that I wanted to show you guys what a subscriber in front of the channel has sent. So, yeah, hope you like it. Give me your comments below, and thanks a lot, guys. We'll catch you next time.